Hey, how you doing there? Welcome to my channel, Veracity Trigger. I wanted to welcome you to this channel a little bit too because I made a previous video about um, swearing and I kind of wanted to start my channel off with a video about truthfulness and lies. And so when we talk about it, if you haven't noticed, you look above, Veracity means truthfulness. So I wanted to talk about that. That was probably one of the first things I wanted to go into. And it's sort of turned into a thing where media is driving truth into an unknown field where it's like well I don't really know it's kind of in the air who cares you know and I think that's wrong I think that's just fundamentally wrong because we need to really tell the truth as a human society um, I mean as definitely uh, America has gotten the way it is, we really need to tell the truth in a lot of things. Now, I understand there are certain situations where someone's going to rob you or something like that, and someone may just lie instinctively in a way where they don't want to lose their possessions or they're afraid for their life or something like that. They don't want to be near this person that's going to do them harm. I can understand that. But as far as political things go, because, you know, the debates are around and things like that, as far as political things go, politicians <clears throat> really need to tell the truth. And they think, oh, well, you're asking things on a personal level. Well, their personal life is raised into a higher standard now, where they're kind of almost representing us as a nation, you know, as a people. And from what we see as them representing ourselves. And so when we, when we vote for people like that, um, you know, you may think, well, you're asking them some very personal questions. All the, their whole life is on display for everybody else. It's basically like they live in a glass house now, or they're aspiring to live in a glass house. So what are they like? You know, what do you want to know about them? Now, in politics, we go and we see the sin of spin. We see it a lot. We see it too much, too much. Here's the thing. I just want to say to them, answer the damn question, because it gets to a point where they are asked a question and they want to derail it and go into another topic about something else or they want to convert that question into a joke to insult the person asking the question. Now unless they have some real grounds to turn it into a joke to insult them where they're right, where it's like, you hypocrite, don't ask me that question, look what you did. Um, that kind of makes sense. But if it doesn't make any sense, then the person that's derailing the question is not answering the, uh, the question truthfully. They're answering, they're not even answering the question. You may think they're answering the question, but they're not really answering the question. They're answering a question that they've come up with to twist the question into their, into the way that they want it to be. And so that's the sin of spin. This happens in politics. And I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm upset, but I kind of am because I see this a lot and it's, it's just turned into just this way of, of sort of being in politics where it looks just ridiculous. You know, it looks ridiculous. It's like you guys are in your 50s and plus older and you're acting like six-year-old kids. I mean, you, you can't even act like an adult anymore. You know, start acting your age. You know, start doing that. now. There's another thing where people will be like, well, I changed my mind on this. That's perfectly fine. I mean, it seems kind of comical if you look at Rudolph's Cornelius, where he's like, I changed my mind. You know, <laughs> he found peppermint and he wants that now. You know, that's fine for him to do it. But it, that's also a kid's story, you know. But the thing is, when you go into things, you have to take time to come to a decision to change your mind about a topic. You can't just flip flop back and forth. You have to come to, you have to put together evidence, facts, and go over it a while and say, okay, well, I've changed my mind on this, and this is what I'm going to do now. That makes sense. That's perfectly fine. It's perfectly normal. Anybody else that argues against it, like, no, you can never change your mind about anything. You have to be 100% on this topic all the time. Uh, that's sort of a totalitarian way of looking at things. That's horrible to tell somebody that they absolutely have to um, do this forever forever more they can change your mind about something you know if somebody wants to say hey i'm going to be a really big advent um person that goes out and bikes 
and they go out and bike for a while and they're like, I just can't do this anymore. And then they, they, you know, they go out and run instead. They're like, well, I, I want to run instead. I don't, I don't really like biking. You know, I changed my mind on it. And someone yells at them like, no, you cannot do that. You have to be a biker all the time. A person, a bicyclist, you know, uh, that goes and does it. No, that's horrible. Don't do that to people. Don't tell them that they have to do something your way. That's bad. That's horrible. If somebody wants to change your mind on something, let them change your mind. That's perfectly fine. That's a normal thing. People do this all the time. <laughs> but when I see it in political stuff, it's like, geez, let the person change their mind. It's okay. If they have a good reason, they have a good explanation, they've come to some logical um, thought process as far as how to do it, it's perfectly fine. But as far as people doing the sin of spin, changing that, that's horrible. That's horrible. And that's just in the category of lies. Um, as far as being truthful goes, it's basically saying an ac accurate representation of what you understand about something. Now, whether that's, like if you have a belief in something that other people don't believe in, uh, but you tell them about your belief, you're being truthful about what you believe. That's the way it is. So, you know, I just want to talk about that a little bit. I think I don't want to make it too, too big of a video. Um, if you want to leave comments down below, uh, have a discussion about it, go, ahead, go right ahead, that'd be cool. And so, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. So thanks a lot for watching. I'll probably have some more videos up pretty soon. Uh, go into some other topics, do some moral things, do some random things. That's why I'm titling it the way I'm titling it. So yeah, I'll talk to you later. Take it easy.